Hello and welcome to LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's Python tutorial we're going to talk about Modulo. Um, modulo gives us the ability to get the remainder of a number after division and I don't know if I pronounce it right so I'll spell it for you M-O-D-U-L-O -O, Modulo and then uh, we represent Modulo with a percent sign just like that. So let's go ahead and try one. So 50, the Modulo of 25 and we get zero. Okay, so why do we get zero? 25 goes into 50 two times with no remainder. So 25 times 2 is 50. Let's take a look at 51, the modulo of 25. Hit return. And we get 1. All right, so 25 goes into 50 two times, and we have 1 left over. So we get a remainder of 1. Pretty simple. Let's look at uh, a floating point number. Um, 4. We get 3 point nine zero 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 five seven that's left over I can't do math in my head so let's do sixty seven point nine floor division of four we get sixteen let's do sixteen times four we get sixty four so sixty four plus this number right here sixty four plus nope I copied it that gives us sixty seven point nine so our remainder was 3.9. Why I did all this was to show you how, how it actually works. Um, so this is the actual function that module is doing. It goes and divides it, finds the remainder, and returns it to us. It's pretty simple. Now, what happens if I do the mo uh, 16 module of 0? Well, think about it this way. If I was going out and I'm trying to think of an example, and I needed to get uh, 16 beers, because beers do sound good right now, it's March Madness, um, and, I want, and I want to divide it by zero, how many would I have? Well, if I hit return, we're going to get an error. We get an error, integer division or module by zero. Can't do it, okay? Because technically, I can't get zero beers, all right? So, um, also, another weird thing you might run into occasionally, if I did 16 uh, modulo of 60, I'm going to hit return, I'm going to get 16 back. So, say I had to go out and collect 60 beers for today's uh, March Madness games, um, but the store only had 16, and my friend said, uh, we need 60, because so we're going to get bombed today. So I go out and I go to get 60 beers, and they only have 16. Well, I can't really collect 16 beers. All right, so it's just going to return to me the remainder of 16 because I can't collect 16. I hope that's what I hope you guys are understanding that. So if I say they had 160 beers, and my friend still said go out and get 60, I hit return. It's going to return. Uh, well, go out and get. Uh, Let's make this more realistic. Let's say 160 beers they have there, and my buddy says, go out and get a 30-pack. All right. I was going to say 60 beers, but there's no such thing as 60-pack, 60, 60 so we'll do a 30-pack. So my friend tells me to go out and get as many 30-packs as I can, all right? And they got 160 beers at the beer distributor. So I go, and uh, I go in there, and I want 30 beers. Well, I'm going to get able to get 10, or... I'm going to get 30 beers. Now I'm confused myself. I can get five 30 packs, and there's going to be 10 left over at the beer store for the next person if they wanted 10 beers. All right? So this is the only way I can explain it. So if, I, if my buddy said, all right, go out and get 160 beers, but they only have 30, and we need 160 beers, and I hit return, it's going to come back to 30. Well, I can't come home without 160 beers. My friends are going to be mad. So I left the 30 there and I went to a different store and got the other 160 beers. So the best way I can explain it to you guys, um, I hope that makes sense. Uh, like right here, I went out and I got 10, th or I got five 30 packs. Five goes into 160, or 30 goes into 160 five times. I'm really starting to confuse myself here. Um, five goes into 30, uh, Oh, Jesus. All right, let's start this over one more time. 30 goes into 165 times. 
which is 150. 5 times 30 is 150, and we got 10 beers left over. All right. Sorry about that. Just brain fart. Woo. So if my buddy said we need 160 beers today for the basketball games and uh, don't come home without 160 beers, and I went to my favorite beer store, and they said, oh, we only have 30 because everybody bombed for the basketball games, you know, I probably would buy 30. But anyway, um, so if 160, I can't, I can't go into that. There's no way I can do that. So I say, all right, never mind, I'll go to the other beer store, and I leave the 30 there. There's always, there's 30 left there. So in the module, in Modulo, um, you can't, if this number on the right-hand side is bigger than the left-hand side, it's always going to return to you the number on the left-hand side. You can't divide 160 by 30 to get a remainder. Um, I hope that makes sense to you. I tried to make it, you know, as easy as possible. But, you know, sometimes in my brain things are easier than I think they are. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Uh, we'll be sure to try to explain it a little bit better. Uh, right now my mind's on beers and basketball. So if you got any questions, please leave a comment and uh, I'll do my best to explain it to you a little bit better. We'll see you in the next one.